Well, today marks the anniversary of the Paxton Boys Uprising of 1763 when 20 members of the Susquehannock tribe were attacked and murdered. Tonight, members of the community held a ceremony to honor those who lost their lives. WGAL News 8's Amber Gerard has more. It was December 1763. The country had not yet gained its independence and the American Indians were at war with the British when a group of vigilante men seeking deadly justice set their eyes on the tribes in the Susquehanna Valley. Tonight, the lives that were lost were remembered. They were known as the Paxton Boys, a group of 50 men from Paxton Township. On December 14th, they rode into Conestoga, a Susquehannock Indian reserve, and massacred six people. They murdered them and they burnt down their cabins. Then on December 27th, they arrived in Lancaster. While everybody was at church, they rode into town, they parked their horses back there at that one tavern. Then made their way to a prison workhouse, now the Fulton Theater, where 15 Susquehannock women, men, and children were being harbored for their protection. They just walked down here and just took them all out, killed them, mutilated them, scalped them, and left. So tonight, standing in the very place that they were killed, candles were lit, sage burned, and drums played to honor them. There should have been some sort of accountability, but it went out the door. One by one, the names of the victims were read. Alize Nokwizi, also known as Grandmother Nokwizi, a member of the Cherokee Nation, says the Susquehanna philosophy towards life was one of peace, and today we should embrace that same philosophy. This fighting, this, this conflict, black lives, white lives, red lives, blue lives, green lives, come on people, we are human beings, we're two-leggeds, we're here to help each other and take care yes. of each other, yes. so let's find a way. In Lancaster, Amber Gerard, WGAL News 8.